Okay, so here we are again with the Calypso BTS, and I'm going to try and do this from memory. I'm going to try and do it uh, pretty quick here. Uh, some of these steps you won't have to do because, you know, ideally you would have a uh, GSM network, but I have everything set up in a um, protected case, I guess you'd say, here with all the cables running in it. And so I need to generate a GSM network for uh, the... Motorola C139 to sync to. So I'm going to do that using uh, Yate BTS. This is all happening on one computer, by the way. One installation of Dragon OS and uh, a Blade RF uh, XA9 is over there as well, in there with the phone. And so I've shown in previous videos how to set up Dragon OS and uh, Yate BTS. What I've done is uh, changed it to GSM850, put it on. Uh, this uh, 240 here and saved and now I'm just going to basically minimize that uh, we want to load the <clears throat> blade RF with the uh, FPGA okay and we'll start up the 8 and move this out of the way Give that uh, a second here. Okay, let's take a look here. So, what I want to do first is uh, because I have the C139 phone I've talked about, and uh, we want to do do the Rizzy first. And I might have to unplug this. Okay, so I tap the uh, power button real quick. It's sending the firmware. And okay, I want to check out two five zero. Okay, I see I got power there. All right, I'm gonna shut down the phone, take the battery out, put the battery back in. I'm gonna go to the TRX firmware. Also important is I have the power supply for the phone handy. It's in the Get all this set back up in here. Um, all right, so we'll go ahead and send the. We're going to chain, and you can look that up. But this is unique to the uh, C139 phone. Might might be uh, for other ones, but uh, so we're going to chain load, and I'll just go ahead um, get the power plugged in on the phone. So now we're looking at this here. Now let's see. We got that set up. We want to jump over to the transceiver. That's the uh, file that's going to be in that user source Calypso BTS folder once this is all sh uh, set up in Dragon OS. And I'm going to use the transceiver. Uh, I think E1 was the uh, error or logging level. We'll do the dash A for the. Um, oh, it was actually. Yeah, it was actually 240, I think. Let me check that. Yeah, 240. Okay. And then the. Uh, Dash R, what was that? That is the um, basically the priority level, I think it was. So if all goes well, we should see some information here. Okay, that's what we want to see there. Uh, let me see. So now we want to jump over. Let me think. We'll jump over here and I'm using what's in the user source Osmo Network in the Box Scripts configs. This particular config seems to work. And let me. Okay, you can see it there. Uh, that's all going to be packaged up, so we'll start that. Okay. Now, let's see, we'll come over. And then I want to use the Osmo BTS TRX, and I'm using the configuration file that will be in the, all this will be in the uh, Calypso BTS folder. But uh, I'm running this here. Okay. All right, so now the phone is uh, transmitting. Let's come over here. 
to see we'll turn the um, airplane mode off and let me see so I moved the cable inside there so let's try and connect again okay and now we can see we are connected to the uh, Calypso BTS. So there you go. There's, um, I mean, that was pretty easy. You could do a lot more with this, uh, but uh, I just wanted to show that it does in fact work. Everything's working on um, Dragon OS. All right, and I think that's about it. Thank you.